This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. All right, in the last lecture, I explained and went through the example on um, planning and operational variances. We did example one. That was on materials. And I said in, uh, in the exam, um, you'll only be asked to do it on you know, one cost, either materials or, as in example two, labour. And I did suggest you had a go at example two yourself. It's exactly the same logic, exactly the same approach. Uh, and so I won't have all the chit chat with it this time. You can check, I'll, I'll, I'll just run through it quickly. Example two, it is labour. So we're given the original budget. You've got there the standard cost. Uh, the original standards was we'd spend eight hours and at $4 an hour. The actual results, well, we actually worked 190,000 hours and we spent 769,500. Let's go straight into it. Let's calculate the rate of pay variance. Uh, the rate of pay variance. Uh, let's do it the F2 way. Let's get the total variance, but then I'll analyse it into planning and operational. Um, and this time, well, it's the same logic as what we did um, in the previous one. Instead of writing it all out in full line by line, I'll try and do it slightly quicker. But it's your choice. The important thing is to get it right, obviously. Uh, however comfortable you need, as long as you're comfortable with it. Um, for the rate of pay variance, always we take the actual hours worked. So we actually worked 190,000 hours. And we look at the difference between the actual rate and the standard rate. So actual hours worked at actual cost is 769,500. Uh, actual hours worked at standard cost, original standard cost, is 190,000. It should have been $4 an hour. So it should have been oh, right here, 190,000. Yeah, $4 an hour, it should have been 760. And so we've overspent by 9,500. So in total, there's an adverse rate of pay variance. However, let me immediately analyse it into planning and operational. Because we're told below that since preparation of the budget, the price had increased to $4.10 per hour. I don't know why, you know, perhaps it's just that Wage rates in general had gone up and we'd have no choice, we'd have to increase it. But that permanent change is our planning variance. So the rate of pay, that, sorry, still on rate of pay, the planning variance just like in the previous example for the planning, we're comparing the revised uh, cost per hour with the original standard cost. So here I can uh, write it shorter because always it's the actual hours. So the actual hours, 190,000. Instead of writing the two totals separately, surely we are looking at the difference between the revised standard cost of 410 and the original standard cost of four dollars. So our standard cost that has been revised 10 cents higher. So in total, 19,000, that alone, we expect to spend 19,000 more. So we'd now be expecting the manager to be paying $4.10. Let's check whether the manager did pay $4.10 or not. The operational variance of 
And for operational, we'll compare uh, what actually happened with the revised standard cost. Well, here we don't know the actual rate per hour, so we'll take the actual hours at actual cost. Seven sixty nine five hundred, and we'll compare it um, with the actual hours at the revised standard cost. So it was one hundred and ninety thousand hours. The revised standard, he should have been spending four dollar ten an hour. So 190,000, $4.10, 779. And so what's the variance? I think it's 9,500 favorable. Does it add up? 19,000 adverse, nine and a half favorable. Uh, the difference is nine and a half adverse. That's oh, right, the difference. The, the net is nine and a half adverse, which is what the total was. So, in total, we're now and a half adverse against the original budget. We've now analysed it. We, uh, we're losing 19,000 due to the fact we expected wages to be higher. Um, the manager seems to have done a, a fairly good job that he's managed, even though we pay more than the original four dollars, he's managed to pay a bit less than the four dollar ten that we were now expecting. That's rate of pay. Finally, let's do the efficiency variance. Again, I'll do it in total first, the total F2 variance, and then we'll analyse. Obviously in the exam only do what's asked. But that's the most likely. What's the total? Analyze. So first of all, the total, the normal F2 variance, the total, we look at the hours, we compare the actual hours, 190,000, with the standard hours for the actual production, And of course, the original standard uh, was for uh, eight hours. The actual production was 24,000. So 24,000 units at eight hours a unit, we would have expected to take 192,000. So we've saved 2,000 hours. Cost it out at the standard cost. Four dollars per hour. Overall, we've saved it's a favourable variance of eight thousand. Now let's analyse it. Planning operational, uh, and the bit uh, the line at the bottom says: since preparation of the budget, the price has increased to four ten. The time has been revised to seven and a half hours, and so. Let's uh, do exactly the same again, but for planning variance, we'll compare the revised hours, standard hours with the original standard hours. For operational, we'll compare the actual hours with the revised. So planning variance, revised standard hours for actual production. Twenty-four thousand units actual production. The revised it should be seven and a half hours per unit. So we'd expect one hundred eighty thousand hours. How much did we originally expect? Well, the ori original standard hours for the actual production. 24,000 production, it was originally eight hours a unit, 
192,000. It saved us 12,000. Or again, I could have written that faster. It's 24,000 units. We're saving half an hour on each unit. Again, 12,000. Cost out at standard cost. The original standard cost $4. 48,000 favourable. And finally, operational. Do it in exactly the normal way, but to check on the manager, instead of comparing the actual hours we worked with the original standard, we'll compare it with the new, the revised standard. And so, actual hours, 190,000. How many hours should we have used? The revised standard hours for the actual production. 24,000 produced. The revised standard, seven and a half hours per unit. In fact, uh, the manager has used 10,000 hours more than we would have expected. Cost out at standard cost, the original standard cost of $4. Uh, they use more hours than we now should have done, and so that's adverse. Does it check? 48 favourable, 40 adverse. The two together give us a net 8,000 favourable. Yes, and that's what we calculated initially, 8,000 favourable. Uh, finally, just let me summarise these variances, and then I can have one last chat about them. As far as the planning variances were concerned, uh, the rate of pay, what was it? Rate of pay for planning variance was 19,000 adverse. Um, the efficiency where's it gone? Oh, oh. Efficiency. The planning variance is forty eight thousand favourable. As far as the operational variances are concerned. Rate of pay. Nine and a half thousand favourable. And family efficiency. I uh, just have it, didn't I? 40,000 adverse. Now, the reason I've done that is because inevitably, if you get a full one of these, it would be in section C. And it would be either materials or it would be labour. But within section C, you will also be expected to write, to, to comment. Now, I did mention a bit in the previous lecture, and a lot of it depends, you know, read the question carefully, what information is given. But I just want to add one thing here. First of all, operational variances, you comment in the normal way. We have that in the paper F2 lectures. You know, it's starting to be two different managers involved. Uh, one's responsible for the rate of pay. Fine. Seem to have saved money, but we'll still want to know how it happened and can it continue. Um, the uh, other, perhaps the production manager, is responsible for efficiency. Uh, again, something's gone wrong there. We'll want to know what it was. So that's a normal F2 chat. Planning, though. The question is, why have we changed the original standards? The price per hour went up. Now it could have been, we were just forced to change. I mentioned that earlier. If wage rates everywhere else have all gone up by 10% or 2% or whatever, then we've perhaps been forced to put ours up. Cost us money, nothing we can do about it. But the other reason is this. 
Maybe we didn't need to increase the rate of pay, but we've decided that we decided we'll increase the rate of pay to try and get them to work faster. Suppose that was the reason here. So we've changed our plans. We'll give everybody more money because they'll then work faster and save us money as a result. Well, we can now look at it and say, well, was that a good idea or not? Well, here it was. It was, because increasing the rate of pay has cost us money. But if that's the reason why we now expect them to work faster, then it was a good idea. I hope you see my point. The two together are favourable. However, although it looks like it was a good idea, we can add something else to it. Operational efficiency was dreadfully adverse. Perhaps that's because our plans weren't thought through properly. It looked as though it was a good idea, say 19, Sorry, uh, paid 19, but say 48. But perhaps it was simply unrealistic to expect them to um, only take seven and a half hours. And that in fact, it's perhaps not the manager's fault at all that he's got 40,000 over. Perhaps it would have been, it was just unrealistic to have expected that saving in the first place. Now we don't know. But that's the sort of thing you should be able to discuss briefly. They won't want great long essays. But don't just say good, bad, good, bad. You know, make sure, again, what well, depends on the question, the, the examiner gives clues in the wording. But make sure you can make some sensible comments. Do say good, bad, good, bad, you know, favourable, adverse. But um, you will be expected to say that bit more. OK, well, that was the first of the what you might call advanced variances. Planning an operational. The next one we'll do is something called mixed and yield.